There are two ways to add plissé effects to a garment. One is for large plissé folds, and the other is for smaller plissé folds. Let's add a larger plissé effect to the back of this garment. To do so, we need internal lines for the folds of the plissé. We can add them using the pen tool, or we could have added them to the patterns in the 2D CAD system before importing them into vStitcher. Next, we lock all pieces in the 2D window and marquee select all the internal lines on the back pattern. To create creases along the internal lines, we go to the line properties in the context view and enable the iron property. Here, we can set the angle we want between 1 and 180 degrees. The angle determines the intensity of the crease. The larger the angle, the greater the crease. Let's use 90 degrees. We click Dress and allow the garment to simulate. We may need to use Pinch and adjust the drape of the garment slightly to ensure the creases fall nicely. We can also lower the grid to have more crisp creases. We can lower this to about 0.6 and allow the garment to dress a while longer. And it's complete. The next method is more suitable for smaller and irregular plissé effects. We want to add this effect to the pants. For this method, instead of using internal lines and creating iron lines, we use a displacement map. Note, you may require help from a 2D, 3D artist to edit and create the map. The fabric used for this pair of pants already has a crinkly texture, according to the normal map. We want to add a displacement map to create the plissé effect. To do so, we select the normal map and then select Edit Externally to open the image in Photoshop. Next, we need a striped image like this in different shades of gray. We can create this in Photoshop or other photo editing software. Back to the normal map, we go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Next, we copy the striped image into this file as a separate layer. We want to blend the stripe image with the background, so we adjust the blending type and find a suitable one. Color burn looks good. We can still see details of the crinkles. This is our new displacement map. For displacement maps, remember that white areas pop out of the surface, while darker areas recede into the surface and mid-gray areas have no effect. It looks a little too dark so we'll adjust the brightness using the Curves adjustment slightly. Looks great! We save this as a PNG or JPEG file. In vStitcher, we click on the displacement channel of the fabric and select the displacement map we created. Since this is a displacement map, we will not see the effect in the 3D window. We can only see it once we do a ray trace render. To preview the effect, we use the V-Ray ray trace rendering preview. We want the effect to be much smaller, so we need to make the displacement map smaller. We click on the displacement map channel and type 10 centimeters in the height. The value changes back to the original. This is because the image is linked to the diffuse map, so it is the same size as the diffuse. We select independent instead. Now we can scale the map to be smaller. We can increase, decrease the depth to adjust the visibility of the creases. Let's check once again in the preview render window. This looks great. If we have a fabric that is not crinkly, we can add the striped gray image as the displacement map without blending it with the normal map. Blending it with the normal map helps to reduce the harshness of the lines and gives more realism to the texture. And that is how we add plissé effect to a garment.